guys, it's Shen and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll be doing a shop with me at HomeSense, as well as a mini haul video of the things that I purchased this particular month at HomeSense. The HomeSense that I go to all the time is the one directly on Highway 7 in McCowan. Obviously during quarantine they were not open but recently they have reopened and in the very beginning when I went over and asked the sales when they restocked they told me that all stores restock every Monday, Wednesday and Friday so I used to go every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I went yesterday and there wasn't a lot that I saw so I decided to check it out today just in case you know there's things that they stock later in the day but when I went in today the shelves were pretty packed and I was like, okay, wait a minute, it's a Tuesday, like why is it so full? And then I asked the sales again, I'm like, oh, don't you guys restock Monday, Wednesday, and Friday? He's like, yeah, we did, but now we restock every single day. And when he told me that, I'm like, come again? Like, really? <laughs> because now, instead of me going every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, it looks like I'll be going Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. <laughs> What I noticed the past couple of days that I went to HomeSense is that they now have a lot of furniture that has a very restoration hardware kind of vibe. And that's what I really like because restoration hardware furniture, if you guys all know, is super duper duper expensive. All their pieces are really expensive, but they're gorgeous and it's very grand and elegant. It has that weathered European look with a lot of antique finishes, but also a hint of modern touches as well. Two items that I found today are this beautiful bench. It's an entryway bench with linen and light washed out gray wood. Looks really great and it has this nice button tufted detail. And this was $299.99, so $300. I honestly wish that my entryway was a little bit wider so that I can put that bench there, but sad if you guys ever see it literally snatch it because it's so pretty and it does not look like it's 300 dollars the next item that looks like it's from restoration hardware is an armchair with a very washed out gray wood just like the bench and then it also has gray linen uh, fabric covering the original price was 750 dollars and they sell this armchair for 500 Another item that I saw at HomeSense today and yesterday was a coffee table. It has marble and natural wood details and then the legs were gold. That coffee table was only $299.99, so $300 for a beautiful marble and wood and gold coffee table. Speaking of coffee tables, I've been eyeing these wood chain links. They're made in the Philippines and they're so beautiful. I've been seeing a lot of these kind of decoration on Pinterest, dangle these chains on top of the coffee table books and it just looks so nice. Today what I found was that they restocked a lot of their mirrors and they had a lot of mirrors with a nice wood trim and I love it. It has that, again, antique look to it with modern gray, like light gray wood color. Although I don't need more rugs in the house, I do love checking out HomeSense rug section because I find that their rugs are really beautiful and they're really decently priced. When I went today, I saw that they restocked a lot of their rugs and they had a lot of neutral looking rugs. They also had a lot of Turkish rugs. I used to hate Turkish rugs because I find that they're way too colorful, but the recent ones have a more washed out look. So it's not as bright, but it still has those nice details and it looks so beautiful. Another beautiful dining table I saw yesterday was this white marble oval shaped dining table and this was $1,899.99. Yeah, it is pretty expensive, but if you take a look, it is a pretty large marble tabletop. And I've seen a table that looks pretty much exactly the same in my opinion and it was from Rove Concepts. I believe that table was around $3,000 or so. So in comparison to $3,000, this is honestly such a steal. A long time ago when I first discovered HomeSense, I would only be roaming the furniture aisles. But what I've discovered recently is that their aisles where they have kitchen and pantry goods are actually pretty good. An awesome find that I found yesterday is 
this black truffle and white truffle sauce. It was $7.99 each, so I bought both of them. And today when I went to HomeSense, they also had black truffle slices that was $14.99. Okay, and now I will be sharing with you guys what I have purchased from HomeSense the past couple days. This is what I've been dying to show you guys. It's a dupe of the Anthropology Gleaming Primrose Mirror in five foot. This mirror, if I were to get it from Anthropology, it would have been $848 US dollars, okay? I got this at a fraction of the price. If you take a look at the details, it has the typical gilt mirror detailing. It has it on the very top as well as at the bottom here. Now at this very bottom, the one from Anthropology has more um, of this kind of design. This one's not as much. And then also this color is not as gold. It's more like a champagne gold color. And then it has like dark speckles on here. I think the Anthropology one is more like a gold brass, but look at the price. I got it for $279.99. So a fraction, <laughs> seriously. Next up, I have these two bath mats. They're a jacquard material bath mat from the brand French Connection. This set was, I think, $30, $29.99, something like that. But if you take a look, it has nice tassel detailing and it's not a typical tassel. It's like extra details here, so nice. I saw um, bath mats that look like this from Zara Home, but the ones from Zara Home, I think one of them was like 50 or $60 and it didn't have such nice detail. So when I saw this at HomeSense, I knew I had to get it. This is one of the bigger purchases that I made at HomeSense. Now this round dining table set was only $500. Yes, it came with the chairs as well. It's a marble tabletop. So take a look. It's a nice marble. And then it has a matte black base. The chairs are, I mean, they're very average. Gray chair with black legs. I'm not a huge fan of the chairs, but I mean, whatever, it came with the table. <laughs> Online from other stores, tables that look like this go at around at least $1,500 or so. So for $500 a set, I thought it was a really good deal. Some other small random things that I purchased was this mandolin. It's by the brand OXO. It's a Good Grips handheld mandolin slicer for $14.99. Last item, I purchased two of these glass cups. It's a actually light peachy pink color and i thought that it was a really nice looking cup so when i saw these at home sales i was like oh why not they're only five dollars each so i ended up getting two before i even finish editing the video i ended up buying something else today so let me show you what it looks like but my furry friend wants to say hi hi this is a dresser that i picked up today it's a four drawer dresser with a marble top it's like this I actually have one that's exactly the same that I purchased maybe a year and a half ago and I saw they had another one in store so I knew I had to get it because what I like about it is that it's a small size and it fits into a lot of small nooks that we have in our house. This is the one that I already have at home. It is exactly the same as one of the ones that I saw today. Although you see that the pattern on the wood here is a little bit different than the one I have right now. but. In store, they actually had the exact same one today. The price that I paid for this one was actually the same as the one I bought today. So even after a year and a half, like HomeSense still has the same pricing for this exact item. Thank you so much for watching our video. We'll see you next time. Bye.